Paul was was marrying your tragic maker. Let's finish it up. No, that's, um, no, but let's go back to Dustin Warford and what he said. Um, okay. and this ties in. And I'm surprised nobody brought this up because I'm surprised actually, too. But I actually have a I have a a rebuttal. But go ahead. Because Big Bang Theory brought this up. Have you seen that episode? I think so. I think so. Where Sheldon, at the time, shows his girlfriend, who had never seen Raiders of the Lost Ark, he introduces it as his favorite movie, and then she, <laughs> if you should check out the episode because it's kind of funny, or YouTube a clip of it because. After the end of their watching it, she says, you know, it's great, except that, you know, Indy Anna Jones didn't do anything. He goes, what? That's preposterous. It's like, no, at the end of the movie, the Nazis opened up the Ark and they would all died anyway. So that's funny. I never thought of that <laughs> until now. He, his, his role was kind of pointless. So in in so Dustin Warford makes this remark. That's what his remark was, is that. uh he said it, 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 the plot seemed pointless at the end. And actually, that was my tragic maker. There are, there are three key things at the end in the plot during the climax that just didn't make sense to me. Hmm. One was, was that, but that wasn't my tragic maker as much as, um, but I'll count it as one. Number two was uh, don't look. How did he know not to look at the ark? When did where when was that ever from I Sunday know, school? <laughs> no, you could look at the ark. It went through the streets. People were dancing around it. But no, no, when it was in the holy of holies, exactly. But that, yeah, and that's when it was being. I actually I don't know this. I I missed Sunday school. Do they did they open the ark during, in the holy of holies? There was a there was a not story normally. where they op somebody opened it and touched the rod of Aaron, which was supposed to be in it and they died. Okay. So it was one of those things that also, because it was said that you can't look at the face of God and live right with, with the thing of Moses. So I think that's where they were going with it. Gotcha. It's, but okay. again, okay. it wasn't seated in the movie. Yeah. So at the end it, it comes to this and then, it but it's weird. Yeah. That he just like close your eyes and that's yeah. not going to protect you. Yeah. I think but, too, point Paul about that last about all this stuff is to me that last scene felt very like it's not it wasn't really a dislike or a tragic maker but it felt like it was kind of tacked on especially after they were leaving and getting on the ship and like okay mm -hmm. we have the arc now so that last chunk did feel like I don't know if it was rushed or whatever but mm -hmm. like to your point that whole last chunk to me did feel kind of odd yeah and <laughs> When Indy is up on the ridge with the bazooka or whatever, mm -hmm. one of the the German soldiers say, and how are you going to get off this island anyway? So that to me sounds like, you know, there's still Nazis on the sub waiting. <laughs> yes, so true. after everybody's dead, how are how is he and Marion, who can barely lift up a frying pan, going <laughs> to carry that back to the subway, fight off all the Nazis? And get back to the, you know, to the U.S. government to have them take it away. It's like they immediately cut to, oh, you know, we're taking care of the Ark now. Like, how? That's, that doesn't make sense. That, I, of all the ones you've said, that one actually sticks out the most as, yeah, that's a good point. Mm -hmm. I, I will they say. Sent smoke oh, signals. Yes. Oh, yeah. The arcs. Uh, yes, it was like a flare. <laughs> don't the don't look, but wait. <laughs> <laughs> Send those smokes. I, I, I cut out briefly. I just to go back to how Indy knows not to look. Yeah. I don't oh, know yeah, if yeah. you guys resolve that, but no. I can remember when uh, Moses was up on the mountain and um, the Lord came down. He told Moses that he had to turn yeah. away. Mm -hmm. Because, you know, I don't remember the exact words, but basically, like, if you see me, you're going to die. Mm -hmm, right. And so I think Indy was probably, if he was familiar enough with the Ark, he was probably familiar with the Ten Commandments and how all of that happened. And yeah. so he probably just assumed, you know, okay, that well. God was actually dwelling in the box. And if you looked at him, it's God in a box. You're going to die. <laughs> I mean, maybe crazier things have happened. Is like, it like a jack in the box? Like where you do, 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 do. 
I don't think so. Wow. I think that's that's a great. I was I was thinking along those same lines, Aaron. Yes, and to rebut the whole idea of well, if India just let the Germans take it, it would have, the same result would have happened. We don't know that. I mean, I, I feel like that's 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 making an assumption that isn't there. We don't know if maybe there was some powerful occultist that the Nazis had that would have somehow been able to overcome and then transmorph the power of the Ark into something the Nazis could use. I mean, you, obviously in oh, real yeah. life, that's not going to happen, but you, you, don't, you don't know what I could mean, have happened. Have red skull on their side. Yeah. Exa- fact, yes. There's a, exactly. there's a big warning in the Bible about the, you know, beware of the cultists who are out there going to you know, take the, the Ark of the Covenant and, you know, use it for their own good. Yep. Well, that, 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 that. 